Okay, so Maria, thank you for joining us today and um, for agreeing to you know cook live from your home. It's it's a pleasure for us to be able to see you guys, see you like cook live. Hello. Let me just check. Yeah, I think the community is like a slight, like slowly joining, joining us. Okay, so Maria, just, uh, why don't uh, am I pronouncing your your name right? Like, how do I pronounce pronounce your last name? I'm Maria. I'm in Spain, and weeks ago, Sacha said me uh, cook a, a a typical Spanish recipe, and I suggest this omelet is potato omelet and. Out of Spain is a Spanish omelette, but in Spain we say a uh, potato omelette. And we cook only with three basic ingredients, is egg, potatoes, and onion. It's super easy. And the most important tip is a uh, good oil and mm. relax. <laughs> Okay. Because we need to uh, fry nice the onion and mm -hmm. after cook well the potato. But it's super easy. Okay. Um, how did you start, uh, you know, um, when did you start cooking and how did you get into cooking? Like, was it from young age or, or did you just like discover cooking when you were older? Like what was your cooking journey like? During during the this recipe or in my life the daily your life yeah your life your daily personal cook journey in my daily kitchen I I prepare uh, normally omelet for dinner and normally we use the seasonal is super common make uh, omelet in in spain and we use the vegetable we are we have in the seasonal example now the cucumber is is very cheaper and is tasty mm. well now and we look uh, a lot uh, omelet with cucumber and normally i I prepare the menu or the I make a similar than a plan on Sunday. I make the shopping list. And if we don't have a school, uh, I prepare lunch and dinner. And if oh. and if we are in in a school, only I prepare the dinners and I share the this task with my husband. Oh, nice. Normally, the omelets <laughs> and the sandwiches, sauces, or this type of fast recipes, mm -hmm. uh, the owner is my husband. Ah. And <laughs> the recipes with... Um... Okay, we have also a... a a friend in the kitchen is a robot and we use for make a cream or hot soups for dinner normally for example i don't know pumpkin cream or same than this mm. recipe is with a robot and yes. we cook one or two times in a week normally mm. sunday and wednesday mm -hmm. and we prepare all recipes for the week I see. That's nice. That's nice. Okay. So why why this um pot potato omelet? Like, wh why did you choose? Like, there's so many Spanish dishes, and like, uh, I know like if you Google normally, you, you it's not really one of those like top recipes that you know um it's is in the search result, right? So why why Spanish omelet? Because it's a recipe super cheaper because the potatoes in Spain is super, super cheaper. Uh, you can buy maybe 12 eggs around less than three euros. Mm. And you can prepare this recipe same than 
family have only one member or same as the family has, a, I don't know, 10 members at home. Yeah, For yeah. Example, now in summer, some mm -hmm. mummies receive at home, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, daughter with uh, grandchildren, so same as me, mm -hmm. and it's super common. You mm -hmm. are in the kitchen with your mother-in-law, your mother, and, and all together we cook the potatoes and we prepare one or two uh, omelets for for dinner. And also is super common. I don't know, you know the tapas in Spain. Yeah, yeah. But the omelet, this omelet is common used for a uh, base in the tapa oh. you put omelet and after you put red peppers or olives or um, uh, salmon or whatever you have in the freezer yeah yeah, is yeah. For, for oh i didn't know it was like one of the base for tapas that's that's interesting to know yeah okay I, I guess we can start now. Uh, a lot of our viewers are here. Our users uh, have joined us. Everyone is like, hi, Maria. You know, uh, thanks for joining us. Yeah. <laughs> hello, everyone from Malaysia is saying hello. Hi, all. So I guess we can start now. Hello, and I hope you like this recipe. Now I change the, the, the view and you can look uh, all the time at the the special cooking or the um the olive oil boiling or mm. all things and please if you have any question let me know and i try explaining in english so. yeah sure i will help you out as well i will um if they don't understand i will um be the translator Maria, is it is it compulsory to use uh, olive oil? Is it possible to use any other oil? Yes, you can use uh, all for example in Spain when the olive oil is not cheaper is yes okay. <laughs> is is not uh, cheaper and uh, a lot of people uh, prepare the potatoes and the onion, this first step, with um, corn, corn oil. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Or you can use, and after you use olive oil, you pass, mm -hmm. and you can save for other, for other recipes. Ah, so and you can use, use Yes, use other? more than one time. Hmm, okay, that's good to know. Yeah, but over here, not really. Change, yeah. If you need to change the oil, use corn oil. Mm, you use corn oil, okay. So, yes. satu tip, kalau korang nak tukar um, uh, uh, olive oil, uh, better kalau guna corn oil daripada minyak lain lah. Uh, so, kita pun senang nak cari corn oil. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. And the, the first uh, step is put the oil in the high potential of the fire and we put the onion. I don't know if you have a special tip for not cry when you put the onion, <laughs> but if you have, please. Um, I prepared it in good part because it's a challenge in my kitchen. I try a lot of things, but always I try. Okay, so I put it there. So I'll, I'll just ask them because our um, users are quite good. Like they, they really have a lot of uh, cooking tips for... Uh, Sorry? Uh, you know, uh, our users, they're, they're very good cooks. They have a lot of tips like how to um, preserve vegetables longer or herbs longer. So let me just ask them, like, uh, anyone knows, uh, ada sesiapa tahu tak macam mana nak potong bawang uh, tanpa um, menangis, tanpa ni, keluar air mata sebab, 
sebab dia dia apa uh, dia nak tahu macam kalau ada tips supaya potong bawang tu tak tak ni tak mata tak berai. <laughs> so I'm just going to ask and see if anyone responds. Um yeah. I used to have that problem before but I, I remember someone saying you have to use glasses or something but but it's it's really funny. <laughs> My have like funny tips, yeah. Yes, my grandma always say uh, you need to put the on when you ah when you are with the first uh, I don't know the first level of onion. Yeah, the first layer, yeah. You put in the in the water and you don't oh. write, and you don't write bad. Doesn't work for me. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see if anyone comes up. Okay, so someone uh, replies that. Um, Su cakap bubur bawang merah kecil cucuk di hujung pisau. Apa ni? <laughs> Kak Azni tak faham. So someone is giving it to but I can't actually understand what it means. Um, this is like, you know, all, all folks um, say that um, uh, the, the bottom of the, the bottom of the uh, onion, you have to like sort of like pierce it. Yeah, you have to pierce it with, with the sharp end of the knife. Um, so that is one of the tips. So you just you, you just stab the bottom of the, of the onion with a knife, and, <laughs> and yeah. So so that's what the olden folks like. One of the oldest tips uh, there is. Um, yeah, and another person say that you have to like uh, like like your grand grandparents said, um, put it in the water for a while. Uh, yeah, like like what she said, and then um, what else? Um, Okay, another one said you put the onion at the end of your knife. So you have to like cut it like, you know, when you, you as you're slicing it, it has to be like at the tip of your knife. And then, <laughs> yeah, so that's one of the things, yeah. Yes, and maybe we can try one time all tips we shared today. Yeah, and because I have a big issue with the onion. <laughs> <laughs> it makes normally, me cry all the time. Yes, normally for plan the the weekend or the week at house, I try one times a week or two times <laughs> a month because I put all onions I buy and I save in a little bag and so, I put oh, yeah. it later. Yes. Ah, that's good. So you, have, you can, you know, you only cry once a week. Because... Yes, one, one time, no more. <laughs> this is a tip. Uh, uh, one time, uh, shared Norali from Argentina with me because she has a super big family, mm -hmm. and say I don't like clean the this part of the kitchen. This when you cut the onion, this table. Mm. Yep, yep. Say I don't like uh, cleaning, and I I buy maybe one kilograms or two kilograms of, of onion, and I cut one time, and I put in the freezer always because it's the task. Yeah, I I like less than other in the kitchen. <laughs> But onion is so delicious. I, I mean, like, I love onions. I always put, like, extra onions in everything. Okay, so... Um, let me just read through... A lot of... Uh, a lot of our users have joined us now. <laughs> so we we normally have this like um whenever someone has a wedding in our um culture 
whenever there's a wedding, uh, in the olden days, we sit around and everybody cooks together for that, um, you know, on, on that wedding day. So to feed everyone who comes, the guests who comes. So they, they have a lot of, um, you know, uh, they normally gossip, we call it gossip, I guess, while they're peeling the onion. So um, nowadays, when we talk about, like when, when you mention onions in uh, Malaysia, in uh, Malaysian culture, it normally, you know, refers to like gossiping or, you know, talking about someone and, and things like that. Yeah. I put salt. Okay. For the onion, uh, less the water. And I put the pan, but it's important to have the air out mm -hmm. because if not, uh, maybe it's too hot. And during these five minutes around the onion is cooked, I prepare the potatoes and the tip for the potatoes is, this is a tip works night from my grandmother. I put a big uh, area with water, is clean water. And only I cook the potatoes and I put here for the almidon go out before putting the oil. And what what water, do you need to put it in, in the water? Because the potato uh, has the, know, the, extra. the okay. white, Cream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yep. if you clean the potato when you cook, you could send them this line. So very thin. Yes, very slim. And you achieve the potato is less time in the oil and test um no crunch sorry sorry if you cook the potato and you put in the water same mm -hmm. as this, the potato is not crunch oh okay so is it like uh, is it just like um a normal water temperature water or does it have to be hot or Water. No, normal water. Normal water. Just normal water. So how long yes. do you submerge it in, in the water? Yes. Oh, they were they they're quite impressing how you cut the potatoes. <laughs> they're they're not like they're kind of afraid to uh, cut it that way. Yes, it's important to cook the potato same than this and mm. not in line, so it's same than this. Because after with the spoon, we put here oh. in, the, in the pan and the, the parts will be super short. Oh, okay. And we, this recipe is super easy for uh, change the measurement because if you use five potatoes, you use five eggs normally. It's the same mm. quantity of potatoes than the same quantity of, of eggs. Oh, okay, so potatoes and eggs would be like the same. And your potatoes are about like uh, the size of your the palm of your hand. Yes, and I use five potatoes for a size same dish. Mm. Mm. Is this one? Ah, okay. For this size, I use five potatoes than this. Ah, okay. Okay.
but it's really impressive the way you slice the potatoes and it's very very thin yes and with the <laughs> humid area about this we have the onion uh, perfectly for for this omelette because it's super slim mm -hmm. and it's fried and it's not uh, black. It's important. You are using um, a very low low um fire correct because i don't see it is like you you've um fried the onion for quite some time but it's not um burning or anything uh, the fire yeah. is important yeah. is slow because okay. if not uh, you can you can drop on the onion put all black yes it's better use a slow fire and and cover the pan. And when you have that, you finish with the potatoes. Okay, and if you can look the potatoes, mm -hmm. the water is is not clean. <laughs> and now we pull out the water with that. Okay. Okay, and so you don't really have to soak it like uh, for a long time. Just just in the fat. Sorry. So you just clean the fat. Um, the potato. You don't have to soak it for a long time. No, 10 minutes. During the time I cook the onion, it's not important. If you have time in the morning, uh, you can prepare the potatoes and less in the water. It's not important. It's, mm, okay. It's only for clean and... And now we put the fire again. If, if the potential is... The limit is 10. You put six example. Okay. And we use this one again. We clean that. And we prepare now the eggs during the potatoes. You need a big bowl mm -hmm. because it's five eggs, five potatoes, and the onion. Okay? Mm -hmm. And you need mix very well. And
can they substitute with butter or it's not it advisable is saying you don't use so much butter only for the toast or the pancakes but it's not common cook with butter so what what oil do you uh, like most common in in uh, Spain. We know that Italy normally use a lot of uh, olive oil in cooking. Uh, is it the same as um, Spain? We cook always in Spain with olive oil, and if not with olive uh, corn, or um, no, or with a fryer. Now is in oh. trend the uh, air fryer and yes. a lot of people yes. are using that. Yeah, yes. We have a lot of olive tree. Mm. Because normally, like for myself, uh, I will only buy olive oil if I need to cook Italian, you know, Italian dishes. So that's when I buy uh, olive oil because it's not really cheap here. It's it's quite, um, you know, high price because of the bottle is a bit small, uh, compared to like um that price compared to the normal um, uh, vegetable oils that we get here. It's it's cheaper, and we fry everything. <laughs> Malaysians just love to fry everything, so, um we only get olive oil like myself for example i will only get it if i'm by like cooking italian dishes so now i know like if i'm doing like you know spanish dishes i would use olive oil as well yes 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 here in the two or three part of spain have the production of olive of, of, of olives and a lot of people, if they have a big house, have uh, some trees and after they change, the, they give the olive of the tree to the company, make the olive oil and they change a lot, a lot, a lot of olive for maybe two or three big bottles of Oh. oh that's nice to know so you you actually grow olives like like in, in your like house like you know uh, house areas yes nice okay so let me just like um share the information to the users so the guy spain you don't add the poco olives ni so they don't tanam poco olives ni the poco ni ada banyak sangat dekat sana sampai kan um bila berbuah je uh, dia bagi buah olive ni dia bagi dekat um, tempat kilang tu yang buat um, minyak kan minyak zaitun ni lepas tu dia exchange so dia bagi buah dia dapat balik berbotol-botol um, minyak ni minyak olive ni minyak zaitun ni and that's that's nice like you, you know you get free <laughs> free oil is in the south of Spain is very very common uh, this uh, example, the, the mommy of one friend of my baby in the kindergarten, mm -hmm. uh, they have, uh, I don't know, maybe 10 or 20 trees and they wow. change olive all January. Normally it's in January after Christmas, they pick up the olives and they change in the, in the fabric. That's in the, nice, that's nice. Yeah. And I love olives. I, I love to eat olives, but like it's it's so it's it's kind of pricey here. So it's kind of pricey. Like if I go to so if I go to Subway, like uh you know the, the Subway sandwich. So if I go there and, and you are allowed to choose your um vegetables and, and your sauce and your bread, I will always ask for extra olives because <laughs> I know it's like so expensive here if I buy it in like in the bottle. Here in Spain, we use the olive oil. You put the toast with a good bread, and mm -hmm. you put only the oil and salt, and it's mm -hmm. a breakfast very common also in Spain. Oh, 
Wow. So only this, dip it with coffee. So, so you only put bread and uh, olive oil and you just enjoy it like that? Yes. Ah, oh, that's nice. Okay, I have a recipe for from Spain. <laughs> a very easy one. <laughs> I put the onion in the in the bowl with the eggs. It's important the onion is not super hot because if if we mix with the egg, we obtain the omelet <laughs> and we don't like oh, it. Okay. We okay. need have the onion reserve uh, 10 minutes so Depends the temperature because now it's super hot here. Mm -hmm. And the potatoes. We can, if you look, you can put easy with the with the spoon. Mm -hmm. This is the signal. Uh, we need maybe two or three minutes more, and that's it. It's super easy. But, uh, we don't need any effort. Mm. Okay. The first step for doesn't mix with a lot olive oil. We put the potatoes again here and we can save the oil uh, rest to the potatoes. Mm -hmm. And after two or three minutes, we put the potatoes we have here to the big bowl. Okay. So you have to wait until the potato is slightly, slightly um, cooled down. Yes. Do you have any, uh, um, I think I asked you before, is there, is there any like a um, unique cooking utensil in, in Spain? Like any like um, tools, cooking tools that's just specifically used like um, by, you know, um, Spanish people? Or like it's it's like it's just the same. I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I think no. Always I prepare. Is if true, a lot of families have a big big dish for making mm. recipe because you need for. Oh, yeah, to, to put it, like, um, to flip it all on your plate. Yes, yes. Okay. and you need a strong and, and a, a big diameter for the dish, for mm -hmm. make that. And some companies have the idea for put in the big dish, same than this part. Mm -hmm. For can give more comfortable. I see. But you need a, a super kitchen for can save all things if you like because this is super common recipe and never in my house I love this. <laughs> so you have my like mom, mm -hmm. my mom prepared this recipe always on Friday. Well, no, the Thursday night for when we arrive on Friday from the high school, we have the lunch prepared for the day before. Mm. And she prepared normally chicken with tomato, mm. with sauce, and we eat uh, together. And you use the tomato sauce or are near the is the super common combination a Spanish mm -hmm. omelet with a chicken tomato and, or and tomato. rabbit tomato. Ah, I I always um find eggs and tomato combination like 
the most delicious like over here we we eat a lot of chili sauce like we love our chilies like uh, we have it in our sambals in everything like in most um dishes but like i find that eggs i think i i say this like in most of the live cooking shows i always say that uh, i discover like eggs and tomato to be like the best they complement each other like the the uh, very very well it's yes. really nice other typical recipe for combine this in a big sandwich is magro con tomate is pork with tomato sauce also and mm -hmm. you put the homemade bread mm -hmm. uh, pork with tomato sauce and omelette and you close the bread mm -hmm. and you have a super lunch in a picnic for that, that's enough right because you have your protein your meats you have your carbs so yeah it yeah. is complete already <laughs> Okay, we reserve the oil. We have the potatoes here. And it's important the pan have a little quantity of oil, you know, but mm -hmm. not so much for for can cook, but it's not you can, yeah. you can uh, prepare with okay and sorry for my english it's the first okay. time i speak english <laughs> no worries at all i think like um you know uh i think cooking or oh, and food it breaks all this language barriers yes and looking the one image is more than 100 words. <laughs> yes. And okay, we put the potatoes and fast we mix. It's important for, because the potato is hot. And we put salt. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Now is a relaxed time because you need make sense than this to all pan and we can't use a high level of fire because if you put too much higher you have black uh, the surface black, is uh, it's yellow, dark. Burn, yes. yeah. and the egg need need cook you the your dish is it looks really nice like the plate it's very pretty with with that um like flower pattern it looks really nice this is the dish i, I don't i have in my family in low house because now now is summer holidays for the kids and the summer camp was finished on first august and mm -hmm. and i am here for the my my mother-in-law and my father-in-law help with the kids and this is not normally kitchen it's to be and have oh. a lot of things yes same oh. and my kitchen is not same as this <laughs> and this <laughs> dish is, is from maybe 20 or 30 years ago when mm -hmm. they have an anniversary of the wedding they mm -hmm. buy these dishes and have all things same the cup of the coffee and <laughs> it feels like you, you actually have this on um during weddings yes 
That's interesting. It's common in Spain when you prepare your wedding, your family prepare your house things. The dishes, the serviettes, the, all these, I don't know, attrezzo or leave out your house. <laughs> I think you do need like a lot of um, Spanish dishes uh, require big plates, right? Big, big uh, dish like, um, for example, um, tapas or uh, even, I'm not sure how you, how you serve paella. Do you serve it from the pan or, or do you flip it as well? Mm. For prepare other tapas. Or, or this one. Yeah, so like you do need all the big dishes, right? Because a lot of, yeah, like. Yes, yeah, example. Yeah. You have small dishes for normal things. Normal. The little dishes for the tapas or the appetizers. Mm. Uh, hot dishes. Mm. Uh, this is for, this is also super common in Spain. I don't oh, know. Okay. It's traditional. And it's for putting the oven or directly in the fire. Like, what do you use for like, um? Your rice dish, it's uh, paella, pa how do you pronounce paella. it? Paella. Paella, paella, so. Yeah, yes. I don't know what it is now, but yes. The, the most difference is have two areas for, can give the, the pan is normally bigger because the special tip for make the paella mm. is not use more rice than a than a finger. It's oh. super is slim. slim. So, so it has to be like very not tall, <laughs> like very very just very thin layer of oh. Normally, when you don't have expectation, it's totally perfectly. But the <laughs> Murphy, <laughs> Murphy situation say when a lot of people love you, is not. <laughs> <laughs> but testy one. <well. laughs> and in the north of Spain they prepare this omelette with red pepper inside. When they prepare the onion, also prepare red, uh, red peppers and mix together with the eggs. Also, we can also use put red peppers. The other day, um, the, the first recipe that you showed, you used the, um, I can't remember the name in English, but the, the, the orange colored, Sweet potato, I can't remember. I, I don't know why I can't remember. It's it's yummy. I mean, like because it's sweet, right? So um, if if we were to to add in sweet potato as well, and I wanted to ask, like, why do you grate the sweet potato? Like, is there any reason? Like, because the potato, um, the normal potato, you just slice it very thin, but the sweet potato, you actually grate. Um, you actually grate it very, very small. Why is that? Like, is, it, is there any reason? Yes, I prepare that because in this recipe, I, I prepare with the sweet potato and I rush because if not, it's super sweet. Because mm. if you have this 
the, the objective is, is a potato omelet, but same, some sweet I uh, see. So it's like, it's like um, just, just a touch of sweetness to, to the omelet. Yeah, but if we don't grate it, that means like you will just taste like a, a very huge lump of of sweetness instead of like you know spread across the entire omelet. Oh, that's that's clever. Yeah, that's clever. Yes. If you use a white a sweet potato, you can use same than potato. But if you use the orange one, it's super sweet, and if not, yeah. you have a same than a dessert. Dana. And that's it. Oh, that's look that looks really good. That looks really yummy. And normally, look, I prepare a tapa. The tapa have a bread. I remember this bread. Uh, if I go to an Italian restaurant, um, we they they will serve this bread with um olive oil and um what's the name? What's the name? Balsamic vinegar, and like you just dip it into the olive oil and balsamic vinegar, and it's like super yummy. Yes. Oh, that looks so nice. That looks so good. Pincho de tortilla. Yeah, it looks really, really nice. We have the recipe. Yay! I share it in good pack and I invite uh, the Malaysian users. Yeah. Cook it. I, I, and... I, I, I actually shared your previous one. So uh, let me change the view. So I shared uh, your previous one with the sweet potatoes. Uh, it's a lot more step. <laughs> Um, but uh, I will reshare. I will share this recipe as well. This is simpler and um, less steps to cook. So uh, I saw. I think. I think one Malaysian user already uh, uh, cook snap your previous the previous link I shared, and I'm sure a lot of our uh, Malaysian users will will cook snap this recipe as well. I'll share it shortly after our live. Thank you so much, Maria. Thank you, Thank so you much. for, for um, you know, uh, accepting our invitation. We're so happy to have you, like, you know, cook live for us. Thank you so much and make every day cooking fun. <laughs> Thank you, Maria. Take care. Bye. Bye.